the shows last to about five to six hours. How do you get so much energy? That's an ugly rumour. <laughs> I don't do not do long shows. I just give good value. Mm -hmm. No, they they're like, but it's don't forget, it isn't just me. Mm. It's a, it's a we call it the Ken Dodd Happiness Show. It's a variety show, yeah. and a variety means a variety of skills. Mm. And the people who who supporting acts, and we have two or three supporting acts on the bill. They do tonight. We've got uh, Anne Dante, uh, which is a wonderful musical act. Uh, and that means, it's a musical term, mean get on with it. Uh, we have Sibby Jones, a lovely singer and a flute player. We have, um, oh, our guest star, our super guest star, is Dickie Mint. Dickie Mint, he's on as well. So, and, and then, as a sort of a, uh, an afterthought, I'm on. So it isn't just a one-man show, it's, it's a, and we have live musicians, we don't mess about with miming, we have live musicians, so there's quite a company of us. So it, it does, yeah, it, it, sometimes it does get to near enough five hours. Yeah, I mean this is my first time ever But it's, seeing, it's, you know? a, it's a labour of love. Yeah, I'm very excited. And the reason I do it is because I'm, I'm what they call in show business, stage struck. Yeah. Stage struck, that means you love doing it. You love, love slaving over a hot audience. <laughs> That's brilliant. So, do you have a particular person that inspired you to go into comedy and do these things on show? Do a particular inspiration uh, for your work? Do I have an inspiration? Well, my inspiration is uh, is, is making an audience laugh. Mm -hmm. It's the most wonderful feeling in the world to stand on the stage and see people rocking like that with laughter. It's, it's, it's a great uh, experience. But I had great heroes to look up to. When I first started thinking about being a comedian, yeah. before that I was a ventriloquist, wasn't I? Yeah. So here till it. And then when I thought about being a comedian, I uh, had great heroes like Arthur Askey, Ted Ray, uh, 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 Rob Wilson, uh, all these wonderful, wonderful comedians and, and lady, lady comedians as well to look up to. So. Uh, I had great uh, heroes to worship. Okay, bit of a cheeky question. You're full of one-liners, I hear. You have lots and lots of them. What's your most successful chat-up one-liner? What is? Your most successful chat-up one-liner. Chat-up? Do, do you have one? Oh, I don't. don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm in love with my audience. Ah, yes. Well, I, I've done a bit on it now and again. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I said to one girl, you, I could live in your eyes. Oh, wow. That's she great. said, you'd be home too in one of the other Stein. <laughs> uh, where have you been all my life? Yeah. And she said, well, for the first half of it, I wasn't even born. <laughs> <laughs> she said, uh, uh, there's loads of, there's loads of chat of life. <laughs> you can go on for a while with one. Got to put, put some of the lads off. <laughs> Okay, um, so you've performed in front of a uh, really wide range of audiences and such, and you've performed at the Queen, haven't you? Um, do you have a particular memory that you're quite fond of throughout your career, a, a favourite memory? Well, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really pay to look back, you should look forward. Yes. Uh, or attend to what's going on now. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I've, I've had some great experiences. I, uh, I played the longest run for a solo comedian at the uh, London Palladium, mm -hmm. 42 and a half weeks twice nightly, three times on a Saturday. Wow. So that was hard work. And then went back and did it again in 1967. Mm -hmm. uh, and several times since. Yeah, uh, Blackpool Opera House is the biggest variety theatre in Europe. Mm -hmm. 3,500 seats. We play that twice nightly for the full summer season. Uh, my first summer season from the Central Pier, uh, when we when he did, right, we went, you went from April to November which was uh, twice nightly and three times on a Thursday, though, which was uh, quite a long run. Mm. So yeah, yeah, I've, some, uh, I've, played, uh, I've played in Germany, I've played in uh, Acapulco in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, I've had some great experiences. People of Worthing obviously love you and your shows sell out every year. Well, I've been coming here now to Worthing for, well, over, over 50 years, Fantastic. each year. So uh, I've got quite a good uh, relationship with the the worthy people. But a theatre, this is a lovely theatre, it's only a small one, it's a lovely theatre, mm -hmm. and a theatre only becomes a theatre, a real theatre, when it's got an audience, when there's people there. Yeah. And the, the audiences make the show. Mm -hmm. And the people of uh, the audiences in Worthing are wonderful. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. I 
I didn't do that. Go on, you're like, no, you should go to Cali. Okay, sure, sure. Okay. Um, so, for aspiring comedians, what would your advice Well, I, I, I thought of that question. There's three questions an interviewer always asks. Mm-hmm. When are you going to retire? I think that's a hint. Uh, two, where's your favourite theatre? And three, uh, what do you think of the young comedians of today? Well, anybody thinking of coming into show business, I said, go for it. Go for it. It's, a, it's the most wonderful business in the world is show business, but you have to really be enthusiastic. You've got to really want, it isn't a nine to five job. It's, it's a 24 hour job. You, you live it, eat it, dream it. Yeah, it, show business is the most wonderful, wonderful experience ever, but you've, you must never lose your enthusiasm for wanting to be an entertainer. Do it, go for it, that's it. <laughs> It's the best job in the world. I, I've got the I've got the best job in the world. I only see happy people. Isn't that wonderful? That is fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. It's it's, it's the happiness tour. It just it just goes on and on because I, I like touring. I love going uh, all over the British Isles because you see beautiful some beautiful scenery. Mm. It, it's breath. Some of the scenery in Britain is absolutely so beautiful. You don't need to go anywhere else to see it. Yeah. To see it here, mm. and. Uh, being, uh, I do gigs, one one night stands because one night's all they can stand. They uh, and you you meet such uh, mar- marvelous people. Everybody's different. Yeah. Every every human being, everybody's different, and everybody has a story to tell. Oh, that's great. We've really enjoyed it together. Really appreciate it.